Well, with all the nasty weather we've been having here in Tampa lately, I haven't had many opportunities to get out on the kayak and do any fishing. There's been plenty of opportunities to work on the boat, however, like scraping the barnacles off of this ladder that I removed from the swim platform. It had been down there for a long time, and it had built up a lot of barnacles on it. Now these are the same living creatures that sheepshead really, really love. Mixed in with these barnacles was all types of life. There were little rock crabs in there. Even little tiny fish that I saw that had gotten caught in there. It kind of struck me that all the stuff that was attached to my swim platform was going to be really good bait. <laughs> so initially I was going to take this thing home and scrape it in my yard so I didn't have to make a mess on the boat. But then I got the brilliant idea that, hey, you know what? I can chop all this stuff up right here at the boat, collect it, and then I'd be able to fish with it. And once I had it all collected, I took a pair of pliers and I broke open the uh, bigger pieces to expose the juicy stuff on the inside. Then I put them on the side to use them as bait. This is an oyster here that you can see it just squirted as I opened it up. And there was a nice little chunk of meat on there. That was sure to attract something. The rest of the little pieces that I wouldn't be able to get onto a hook and all the juices and stuff from scraping, I dumped that over the water and that was gonna be like ringing the dinner bell. Now it was just a matter of putting one of these on a hook, throwing it down there, and seeing what happens. Putting these things on a hook can be a little bit tricky, but that's okay, they're plentiful. You can see this one broke as I tried to put the hook through it. it still stays on the hook though, that's a usable piece of bait. Here I try with another piece of barnacle. You see the, uh, that's the exposed part. And that's the part that was up against the wall. It's nice and soft over there. And I can pass the hook through that side. And if I work it a little bit, I can get it to come out of the hole on the front. There you have it, a piece of barnacle on a number one circle hook. There's a pretty good chance I'll catch a fish with this setup. <laughs> or it could break me off. <laughs> Something big just took that barnacle, ran with it, and just broke me off. So it's crazy. So I tied on another hook, and it wasn't but another 30 seconds or so, and that barnacle was gone. <laughs> Somebody down there was acting like a thief. I had my suspicion that it was sheep's head even though that first run was pretty crazy. Let's see what happened this time. <laughs> Boom! Another big hookup, and then it came to the surface and I got to see it. It was a sheep's head, a big one. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to show it to the camera, but at the same time, I was happy that there were big fish like that down there. And this time I get another big one. 
And this time he gets off again. <laughs> this has proven to be fun and exciting. Well, and a little bit frustrating. But I had lots of bait. And this time I actually scooped up the oyster that I had uh, cracked open. Put the little gooey piece of meat on the hook. And of course I caught a fish with it. Sheep's head. Well this was just a little guy. I was after his bigger brother. So I put another barnacle on, dropped it down. I moved everything out of the way for the impending carnage. <laughs> Right away I could feel the fish down there playing with the bait. And boom, there he is. From the time I put this barnacle on a hook, it probably took me about 10 minutes to catch dinner. Free bait, good fish, fun fishing. <laughs> And it really seems to be very effective. I gave this guy a quick measurement. Sure enough, he was big enough for the frying pan. And I wound up having myself some dinner that night. It was a good dinner too. Sheep's head and potatoes and vegetables. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so don't forget, next time you're somewhere, there's going to be uh, barnacles. Like uh, on the pylons of a bridge or on a seawall, or any place you're going to get growth like this, chances are there'll be fish down there feeding on that kind of growth. So you bring yourself along a little putty knife, like this one I'm using right here, and scrape those walls. It's going to chum the fish up big time. And by the way, this technique works rain or shine. <laughs> Thank you.
Tight lines, everybody. Now these are the same living creatures that sheep said really, really love. Mixed in with these barnacles was all types of life. There were little rock crabs in there. Even little tiny fish that I saw that had gotten caught in there. It kind of struck me that well with all the nasty weather we've been having here in Tampa lately I haven't had many opportunities to get out on the kayak and do any fishing. There's been plenty of opportunities to work on the boat however like scraping the barnacles off of this ladder that I removed from the swim platform. It had been down there for a long time and it had built up a lot of barnacles on it. Then I put them on the side to use them as bait. This is an oyster here that you can see it just squirted as I opened it up. And there was a nice little chunk of meat on there. That was sure to attract something. The rest of the little pieces that I wouldn't be able to get onto a hook and all the juices and stuff from scraping, I dumped that over the water and that was going to be like ringing the dinner bell. that all the stuff that was attached to my swim platform was going to be really good bait. <laughs> so initially I was going to take this thing home and scrape it in my yard so I didn't have to make a mess on the boat. But then I got the brilliant idea that, hey, you know what? I can chop all this stuff up right here at the boat, collect it, and then I'd be able to fish with it. And once I had it all collected, I took a pair of pliers and I broke open the uh, bigger pieces to expose the juicy stuff on the inside. Now it was just a matter of putting one of these on a hook, throwing it down there, and seeing what happens. Putting these things on a hook can be a little bit tricky, but that's okay, they're plentiful. You can see this one broke as I tried to put the hook through it. it still stays on the hook though. That's a